Today's episode is brought to you by Gray Block Pizza, 1811 Pico Boulevard, on the way to the beach in Los Angeles. Gray Block, get that hitter. Today's episode is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare. Do you have skills? Do you not have any skills? If you want to do something, are you able to do it and you just don't know how? Are you just standing around with an axe and a tree and not knowing what to do? Well, learn a skill. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators with more than 25,000 classes in design, business, and more. You'll discover countless ways to fuel your curiosity, creativity, and career. Take classes in social media marketing, creative writing, mobile photography, even illustration. Illustration? Playoffs? Whether you're looking to discover a new passion, start a side hustle, or gain new professional skills, Skillshare is there to keep you learning. Join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer just for our listeners. You can get two months of Skillshare for free. That's right, Skillshare is offering this past weekend listeners two months of unlimited access to over 25,000 classes for free. To sign up, go to Skillshare.com slash Theo Vaughn. Again, go to Skillshare.com slash Theo Vaughn to start your two months free now. That's Skillshare.com slash Theo Vaughn. A lot of time think, think, people think about Ridge Walletry. And they say, oh, they do wallets. Well, let me guess that you don't know something else, and that's that Ridge does knives. If, you're, if, you, don't, if you don't have a wallet, get a wallet. But if you don't have a knife, get a knife. That ridge piece, I keep it in my car in case somebody come at me. You want to wash, hey, 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 uh, can I wash your windows? No, you can wash your own life out of your shirt because I'm going to poke you, bucko. Visit ridgewallet.com slash hitter, H-I-T-T-E-R, and use code hitter at checkout for 10%. That's code hitter, H-I-T-T-E-R, for 10% off at ridgewallet.com slash hitter. Today's guest uh, has a new Netflix special out called The Tennessee Kid. Uh, I don't see him very often, but I'm about to see him right now. And this young buckaroo has helped us, uh, is helping or will help us today with another round of this past weekend's State Wars March Madness. I want to thank everyone who sent in so many amazing video submissions. It's been absolutely awesome and intriguing. Um, we'll have a little bit of interview, then we'll get into, uh, into the state wars. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nate Bargatze. What's going on, man? Welcome to town. Thanks, buddy. Your special just came out, huh? Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fun, you know. How exciting is uh, that? It's great, you know. I go yours. I mean, your when did yours come out? Like, it was, I came out four years ago. It didn't. That's great. I was, it's so long. You're like, eh, 15 years ago. You're like, oh, yeah. all right. I just watched it. I just uh, downloaded it on a flight. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Didn't care for it, to yeah. be honest. Uh, I totally, totally. Good. <laughs> no, it was great, dude. No, it's whatever. It was man. great. No, no, it was great. I, I, I just downloaded. I like to download some like. Uh, Occasionally, like on a you know, you get a nice flight and breeze in, see comedy. I think it's good yeah. to randomly be checking out and like seeing, seeing what's what going it, on. Yeah, seeing what's going on. Sometimes it gets you excited, like you know, like when you got to build a new act and uh, all this. Sometimes you need to get like motivated and like watch some other specials to like just I don't know, get like pumped about it to be like, yeah, that's what, like the exciting the process. You know? And did you have some fear? Like, what were some of the fears you had about? Um, like, did you have fear that? Like you wouldn't be able to make new material. Like, did you have any of that oh, kind of yeah. scare? I'm not right now. I have it. Like, I don't. I don't think I'll ever. I never think I could come up with any jokes ever again. Uh, any like I did a Comedy Central special forever ago, and that was like right when you know right when you're done, you're just like I'll never be as funny as like that, and I won't be able to come up with anything else. I don't see how I would come up with anything else. Oh wow! Yeah. I don't have a process to come up with anything. Like, there's not. You don't have like a thing that you're like, I do this, I go write this down, right. and then, it, you know, it's I all just kind of happens. Yeah. You can't like, uh, it's hard to, or it's hard for me to generate, to force, to generate like new stuff. I mean, I try to like, you know, uh, you try to like just be good about uh, 
making your mind open. I've learned. Uh, yeah, but I'll it's get, not your process. I mean, your process is your process. Yeah, yeah. And your process is what? A lazy nothing. I don't write. It's uh. It just comes more on stage, and you on stage. I'll put it like a little note in my phone uh, of an idea. Oh and, yeah. And uh, I try not to write because I, I write it like word for word. I've tried it some, but I think you if you do that for me, I will not sound as con uh, conversational. And so if like I'd like to just oh, keep I see it. What you're uh, do you, you have know. any in your phone right now? Yeah. Let's yeah. See, I might have some too. You want to see? Let's see what they're bad. Well, I mean, do you have full ideas? Don't use the racial slur ones, you know what I'm saying, brother? To go for my others, my next... I'm going a different route in my next special, just... Okay. Uh, I have one warm juice on a plane. Yeah. No idea what that means. That was one. And that, like, you just put that, and then you'd figure it out from there. Yeah. Yeah, I had... I got... I uh, bought a reversible jacket. I bought two of them. Because I didn't know they were reversible. Oh, dang. And then... Uh, <laughs> You bought both sides of the same code? I bought the same. I, and the, here's the truth. I'm saying here's the truth of that is I didn't buy it, but I was buying it. Mm -hmm. And I happened to the last minute realize it. So you bought it, yeah. And so I, I'm just saying, but it was the, the, uh, all the the feelings of buying this jacket were there. And it's a black one. And then I saw went to the uh, store and I saw a blue one. And I was like, well, I like this jacket. Yeah. So I'll get a blue one too. And I'm like, I mean, I'm literally grabbing it. And, uh, and I just happened to check, so I, I happened to see the inside of it and realized it was uh, reversible. So it has four pockets because it has two on the outside and two on the inside. Wow, pretty cool. Yeah, but I just thought that was like, it's just that's gonna suck though if you, if you think you lost your keys and you did, but you have to check all four pockets you have to, to check realize all you lost them. Outside, inside, dude, I hate that, man. You ever check all your pockets and after you lost something and then you fucking check them again, bro? Like you missed? Yeah, like the you're first like, time. hold on. Yeah. I didn't really dig in They're there. like seven inches deep and yeah. you're, fucking, you're like, I don't know. I do it like a back, like you get it back and you're just checking and you're like, it has to be here somewhere. Yeah. And you just dig unbelievably. Yeah, you take it, you shake it. Like that's Pull everything do. out. Yeah. Do you uh, change your backpack out like a lot? Do you like... I've had this backpack for seven years. I got this Toomey backpack and it's kind of a fancy company and... Uh, and I, I got this one backpack too. one time. Yeah, I bought, I bought it seven years ago yeah. and I don't know if I'll change. I've seen some newer ones that I kind of like, but... It just keeps serving me well. You yeah. Know? I love travel stuff. Oh, yeah? I can walk into, uh, I go to Toomey and just like walk around and be like, what are you guys, what's what's happening now? Right. Like it's, Yeah, what's happening in here, what's Rhonda? The new, yeah. yeah. And what's, what's the, the new, new drop? The new thing. Uh, yeah, I, I heard Offset's doing a fucking brand design with you. Huh? <laughs> I and do. they don't even know. They think you know more than they yeah, do. Yeah, and you're like, oh, you didn't hear about yeah, it? Yeah, oh, you didn't hear about the fucking Waylon Jennings bag that's coming out? It's a pretty big bag. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like travel. I like, like, going. I love, like, uh, luggage. Like, just whatever the easiest, you know. I ch I will check a bag. I'm not afraid oh, yeah. to check a bag. Oh, no. Yeah. A lot of people don't. They don't. They're, you yeah, know. Yeah, killers, they, dude. That's who does it, yeah. right? Yeah, I know. It's a, it's, but it's a lot of people. They, they, they don't want to wait. They're pretty good about getting your bags out there now. Some airports, let's be honest. And yes. then we can talk about the South because uh, yeah. that's a place where sometimes they're not. New Orleans, you could wait a week and a half for a bag. They just don't even. One guy brought it one time. They brought it, no joke. It was like four days later. The dude was, no joke. I swear to God that we denied it. Had on one of the fucking shirts in my bag. <laughs> he just took it out and wore it. Yeah, and he was a tough like, guy. Yeah. And I couldn't. He took it for a run. I don't want to go to bat with him about it. Yeah. I'm just happy to have the rest of my stuff. Yeah. But some airports in New Orleans, I think it takes... And he wore the shirt. It takes 20 minutes. Yeah. yeah. I think he forgot he yeah. wore it. I think he got a little cooked up and fucking forgot he wore it. Yeah. And then just has it on and is like, here's your bag. And you're like, that's cool, man. And you just got to go like, all right. You know, yeah. like, you, yeah. Because it'll be con uh, confrontation. Like, you'd have to... Hey, that's my shirt. Yeah, I'm not getting involved in that. Yes, it's even though I would love to get, love to see get involved, like just to see what he's gonna say, like, because it's a guy like that that could be like you say it, and he's like, yeah, yeah, I do. You know, we go. Like, yeah, then what, what are you gonna do? Where are we gonna go from here? Where do you want to go from here? Yeah, <laughs> like how far do you want to take this? <laughs> And then you just have to be like, all right, I'm good. I guess this is as far as we take it, yeah, yeah. you know, unless you want to just go at it. I would love to live like that guy. I would love that. that I'm jealous of that guy that you could put on someone's shirt out of the luggage that's not yours, deliver it. And and like, I mean, he's rooting that you say at that point, yeah. he's probably like, please say something. Yeah, I'm going to do the most obvious thing. 
you know this is your shirt. Yeah. I hope it's like a real shirt that's like it's not like <clears throat> you know just like a polo that you like you could argue. Right. It's something that's like oh yeah straight up you. It was like Vaughn family reunion. Yeah, 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 yeah. just your family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he just and he and I mean and there's only a couple of people and everybody sitting on the other side of the table from my mother. Yeah, they, yeah, they're yeah. on your mom's sitting yourself. real far away from. Oh them. yeah, and they, uh, it's like the Last Supper, but like, yeah. like they're on the you just see the backs, like you just see your mom's face and you rest your family back. Yeah, it's any supper. Yeah, yeah, it's any. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you're right. He shows up and he probably get out the car thinking, man, I hope this motherfucker says oh, something. I would love it. He he just would love it. He would love it. <laughs> There'd be nothing more. I love uh, I love confrontation. I don't like doing it. Yeah. But I love the I. You know, you live through the idea of it. Like if I see someone being confrontational, it's like it, yeah. there's nothing better. Uh, Nick Thune, uh, comedian, is very confrontational. Is he? And he yeah. He doesn't really do have stuff. the build to support it. I don't feel like. He, no, he doesn't. That but like, I think it's all just the people don't expect it. So if you are like they don't know how to like oh I see. like react to it because you're I mean you're calling someone out immediately like why did you do that yeah yeah he, yeah he because he kind of I feel like he gives off a little he's bit he's tall of that. too yeah that's true he kind of has that male kind of like Portland male ballerina vibe but fucking maybe yeah has some violence in his legs but he's doing yeah he's he's very yeah, very he's, talented I don't mean that like no but yeah I'm just yeah. trying to think of his aggression style yeah. well it's he's cool. Uh, you know, I think you want to be like if you see him, you'd be like, I want that guy to like me. He is like the most interesting man in the world, kind of. He has yeah, that energy. Yeah, yeah. I don't think seconds. you think you could like beat him. Like you'd be worried about. It. He's doing shows in Mexico right now. Is he really? Yeah, I don't know. Like I'm Why? like uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he speaks Spanish. He must. Huh? No, no. Wow. I don't. Not that I know of. Uh, Damn. Bro. I think he would bring that up if he did. But he's in Mexico. Yeah, I don't know. That's awesome. Yeah. I have a goal one day. I want to go do tour tour in the in Central America and South America, and go down. You have a pretty big fan base in there. I don't know. I think I could probably. Yeah. You know, I think. Um, I think. I think I would like it. My father's from Nicaragua. My father grew up in Nicaragua. Oh, and so he yeah. was here when he was twelve. But so, but I would like to be able to go and be a part of that just universe and entertain to see what it's like. You know, and just to see. I did a show uh, in, uh, I say this on stage, like when I talk about, like I did a show in Tampa, like a corporate gig, and the guy booked me on it, and uh, he, it was like, you know, like you get, sometimes you get booked for stuff, and it's like th through the proper channels, so it's like vetted, mm -hmm. and uh, and then like you're, you're, if you do a corporate, you're performing for someone, but they hired someone that knows how to book a comedian. Right. And this guy just kind of was like a fan and booked, he went through the channels, right, but he didn't talk to anybody like on how to even set stuff up. Oh yeah. And there's like 600 people and I went up bombed for 1 hour straight. Nice. And uh then afterwards he tells me that none of them speak English. Oh damn. And so he never he never mentioned that until uh like I like in an email later. <laughs> like he was like all right when I got done he's like that's good and I was like I don't even know. I was like you're out of your mind if you thought that was good. <laughs> he was giving away iPads and uh, gave away two cars. Like he's a good oh, dude. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it, it's oh, yeah, all in dude. his heart is in the right place. Yeah. And uh, the guy that drove me to the show. It sounds like an, the Ellen Keller DeGeneres show. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> it sounds like people that can't hear, but they're giving away a lot of cool yeah, stuff. But they're like, oh, this is great. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, they. I can't have, have thought of that. Can you? Yeah. That's what you got a crazy. Yeah. Man. Sorry. No, uh, that was yeah. good. Ellen. I, can't, I don't Ellen think of that many things anymore. Yeah, the Ellen Keller. Ellen Keller show. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry to just keep repeating my own joke. No, <laughs> Ellen Keller is a good. Yeah. It, it deserved more than I gave it. Well, she's the most famous person that's impaired. Think of somebody yeah. impaired that's more famous than Ellen Keller. Stevie Gary Wonder. Sinise. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder's doing good. Uh, but they're do different two different things. It's Helen. Right. Uh, Helen Keller couldn't hear. Stevie Wonder couldn't see. Yeah. And if you can't hear, you can't. What else? You guys know Michael J. Michael Fox. J. Fox. Yeah, but he does he have it or not? They said it's going to kill him like five years ago, and it hasn't. Yeah. Fair. Stephen. Sorry, Hawking. he has it. Yeah. Sorry. Hey, guys, yeah. That's a little. We're much. not he giving it to him. It. We're like not yeah. giving Michael J. We're like I don't know. I mean. Yeah, uh, come on, bro. yeah. No, that's amazing, bro. That he keeps acting too. Yeah, yeah, they did a whole show. He had a sitcom. Like, uh, I mean, but he's obviously very famous. Uh, St yeah, Stephen Hawking was one too. He couldn't do uh, anything except be like real smart. 
Yeah, he was in that movie too, and he had a uh, couple of different wives, didn't he? Didn't he leave his wife? And he he liked his nurses too. Yeah, I don't blame him. Yeah, dude, if I if I'm in a chair, man, I'm gonna be in the chair for a long time. I think I would probably try to try at least to probably fuck whoever comes near me. Cause you, you know, yeah, cause it's probably not. You can never really get charged for rape or something. Cause it's like. Yeah, I'm like gonna be no cool about be... it. I'm not gonna like fall and you knock the chair over oh. on somebody when my when I'm I thought that's even like aggressive. No. Like, uh, but I'm saying even if you were aggressive, they yeah. would be like, just walk. Away. Why don't you walk away? <laughs> yeah, like that's he a can. Good point. Yeah. Like it's like at one point it's it's gonna be the girl's fault. <laughs> yeah, be like well, he, yeah, was, yeah, he was. He literally couldn't move. So <laughs> I don't. You know, I'm saying like there's no. You could be aggressive. Yeah, because you could. there's yeah. What do you can do? Clear your throat. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? yeah. Like, how I mean, crazy the, would it get? Yeah, bro? how great? Like your personality has to be through the roof. <laughs> you you have to yeah, be just like Rick so Ross. Fun, yeah, just so tuned in <laughs> to like where she's like it's gonna happen. But yeah, I don't think you would ever get you know. I would never do anything like that. Uh, you would never be aggressive. You that? No, no, I wouldn't do anything like that. I mean, I don't think I would ever do anything like that. I would never like. I mean, I'll tell you this. If I was stuck on an island with a woman and she wasn't interested, I'd definitely be probably pissed off. But I wouldn't ever be like You'd aggressor. have to break it down. I mean, you'd have to be... Because you'd have to talk about it every day about how she's not interested. Eventually, I, I bet you'd be interested. She has to, to be have a change of pace. I mean, just like every day, just be like... I think you'd play games to like back off bringing it up. Yeah. And then be like, well, I'm not going to say anything. And then maybe when she does get <laughs> interested, then anything. you're like, well, I'm not interested now. And yes, then that you would turn, happen. Yeah, and then you're like, well, I don't want to... It'd be a long... If we got that boat comes and someone's like, y'all hook up a bunch, you're like, you know, we did it. You think we would, but we didn't at all. And, bro, how sad, like, though, would that be? A guy comes to pick you up. It's you and her. You've been on an island for a year, and right? he's just like, as on the boat, he's like, mm. he gives. He's like happy for you. Like, oh, he's he like, gives everybody some mm, water mm, and some gets yeah. you a snicker, you know, and yeah. gets everybody back up to fucking par, you know, medically. Yeah. And then while he, she's kind of like, he's kind of facing you, he's probably like, <laughs> He's behind her. Sex sign. He's behind yeah, like, her, like, mm, mm, mm. Mm. and you're like, nah, nah. You know, it yeah, just didn't. It just we couldn't really line it up. She was kind of busy for a little bit, and and you know. then she me tooes you on the news. Wow. That'd be great. And then it all, then you go to prison. Then you go back. They go back, go back to the to island, island. For clues. that's what they real instead of prison. Well, what did they send you back to the island instead of prison? Like they just figure like, let's try that. Yeah. Oh, the scene of the crime though. Yeah. Yeah. You had to go live there. That wasn't a good. They wouldn't do that. It wasn't bad. That's how um, Australia started. Uh, just, speaking of which, I'll be in Australia in a couple yeah. of weeks, man. Uh, where are you playing at? Where, you, where? Tell me what your shows are like now, man. So people have started to probably, more people have come out to yeah. see you. Yeah, yeah. But you you know that now, right? Is that interesting? Like you're, yeah. I mean, it's happened to you too right now, right? Yeah, it's definitely been, it's been busier. Yeah, more yeah, people Yeah, it's crazy. Come out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's exciting. It's, it's fun. You go out and they know you and like, uh, I, you have to act, I think you have to act differently. Like you have to, you know. There's a different. We're used to walking out on stage and nobody knows us, right? So you you got you're trying to win them over. So that's like a, a vibe and an oh, energy that you bring. And now when you walk out, the applause is bigger. They're more excited just out just because you walk on stage. Yeah. And so now you have to like make sure that it's up to par for them. Like you don't want to just bomb, you know. And they're like, oh, dude, I was like so excited. To yeah. See you. Do you think there's a way? This is this is interesting, man, because it makes me makes me think about this. Yeah, like I wonder if in my mind I can just make sure I focus on going back, going and staying in the space where I got to win these people over. Yes, that you know Seinfeld said though, the, if he could go back, the one thing he would want the feeling is when they don't know you. That's the feeling he would want to go back to mm. because there's no more rewarding feeling than people being like, I don't know if this is even going to be funny. And then you being really funny. Yeah. And like, and you winning them over. There's that's the greatest thing ever. Like, uh, you know, so that's like such a, that's what we, that's our whole beginning of your career is that. And then now your career is now that people do know you, they, and they see you, and they they have an idea of what to expect. And yeah, you know, there's expectations. There's expect even you got to keep them because if you're not good, then they're going to yeah. be disappointed. Yeah, yeah, it's really interesting, man. It's so cool. Yeah, it's so interesting. It's interesting to think about. Yeah, could I go back? And then also, what was my mindset when I would go on stage and people were not? They didn't know me, and you had to like win them over. You just you were you excited. Wanted to surprise them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were well. You were excited about 
like going on stage and excited about your jokes. I mean, you know, like when you have a good crowd and like you can hear them laughing really hard, like out the gate, and you're like, I'm not even like into my stuff yet. Yeah. And that's the greatest oh, feeling good. on earth, like where you're. That's the stuff I can like make myself laugh on stage because you're just like I can't even believe this is real. Yeah. Like you're like man, these we, people are yeah. so good. Yeah, they think you're going for a ride, and you 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 know you're not even in the fucking truck yet. You yeah, know? I always have a big fear, and I try to keep myself aware of it. Like that, the more you get known, and the more people are there to see you, I think it's easier to slip and then not be as good as not be as good as the reason that they're there because they they will laugh. I mean, especially at the beginning, they laugh at stuff. Uh, more than you know, just it's just easier to make them laugh because they we they see get Chappelle's like that. Now, I mean, Chappelle will go sit in place four or five hours, and it's yeah. not like Berg shows up and it's more comedy. Chappelle well, it's shows working up and on it's something. more celebrity. Yeah, well, he's talking and he's just like that's what he's that's what he did. That's but I thought his specials were great and the re and I didn't expect him to be great, but just because I knew he would go talk for these hours, right? And stand up comedy has to be tight. It needs to be. You got to get the fat out of all this stuff and uh, make the jokes very funny. And I thought his specials, they did that. And I, I was actually very surprised because right. I, I thought they were going to be this really long thing. And, you know, because you're like, where are you getting this stuff tight? Like, I don't. Right. All I see you is going on for two to four hours. So where are you Days doing a straight up a an hour? Sometimes when he goes on. Oh, Those it's like four. Out. I remember in New York when I first started, he would come and it was. Uh, he he wasn't doing the hours. He was he was doing Chappelle show, and he I mean he might do an hour. Oh yeah, but he would go on stage. And just, he likes being on stage. It seems yeah, yeah, like he, likes he just it. really yeah, likes. Yeah, he really loves that. That's a good point. Actually, yeah. he really must love being on stage. He likes talking to people, like asking them stuff, and just you know, it's. So do you think? So I sometimes I think that comedy like it's gotten it got too tight, and now it's loosening up, and you want to see more like entertainment on stage yeah. than you want to like j like writers. Like sometimes like I feel like for a while it just got like. Right, like they just kept pushing writers to like the champion of the industry, you know. Yeah. And now I feel like it's kind of taking a little bit of a swing where it's more like people want to, I don't know, they want to see the fat on stuff more. It seems like they want things to seem more realistic. Maybe it's just different. Yeah. People, I get, but it, people are different. What do I have any fucking clue what people like? You know. I they, they do get. Uh, I think some comics like get like that. I mean, like. Uh, you know, when Louis C.K. like first blew up and he was like talking about his kids like that, he, you know, his kids were jerks. He hated his kids or he whatever. hated them. Yeah. And uh, that was like something that's really resonated not with done. everyone. Yeah. yeah. And it changed, but it changed comedy. Like a lot of comics like after that, including myself, is everything became a little more personal. Everything you talk about your life more. Mm. It wasn't uh, you're just doing these jokes that are like could be yours or not yours so now it's like you're trying to do jokes that only you can tell like you have a voice for you that you can do you no one can do you right 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 and yeah, like it that so it's like, like that. that yeah it's gotten more like that and that's like a good point. that's uh and that's a good thing and people are are getting it more there's still very a lot of bad comedy out there there's a lot of people that i don't think their goal is to like murder on stage or like i you know i started in new york in these clubs and it was all about murdering like that's that's what it's all about just murder be funny and like all this and now it can be a little bit more dragged out and uh you know, more interesting sometimes than right. even funny. And I, I, but I'm not a fan of that. I, I think it's funny. Like that's the, that's the point of what you're supposed to do up there. Be funny. That's a good point. If you can be both then be both. Yeah. You know, that is a, yeah, actually some, uh, I'll actually kind of refine some of my position even after hearing you there. Like, yeah, I don't think it's that, yeah, that entertainers, but yeah, I think people want to get to know the person more. They want yeah. something that they can connect to a little bit more. They like the to jokes. laugh at you or with you. That's what I always, I always looked at it. It's like, I want you to laugh at me because you can't believe I did it or I'm doing something that you've done mm. and then you can laugh with me because you've done it. But I'm saying it about me instead of like saying like, I mean, I, for me, like I've never liked to like point at the audience and be like, you're this loser. Like I'll be the loser. Oh yeah. And then I hope you come along. Like I hope you can like, oh, we're all to fucked. That. Yeah. I mean, yeah. welcome to the fuck ship, dude. Yeah. We're going to, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's, we're halfway it's, to Hades, bro. All aboard. Yeah. Are there topics you won't talk about that you want to talk about sometimes? Uh, I don't know. Like, I don't really get into like political stuff. Like, uh, yeah, I don't get into political. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't think anyway. Yeah. Not really. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, yeah, I don't think. I, if I do it, I try to do it in a way that it's like can ride both sides of it. I have no like. Uh, 
I don't like really care to be offensive. Like I, I have no uh, vulgarity. Yeah. You're not vulgar. I'm not. No. But they. Uh, but I don't care to be offended. I'm not trying to offend anybody. I don't want to like push. Like I don't right. want anybody. You're not going to learn something from my show. Like I don't care if you learn something from my show. Like, I don't. You don't need to. Like I. There's plenty of comedy. I. We can. I can. Whatever you're into, I can tell you who to go watch. Yeah. If you want this, I don't. We can't all be doing the same thing. The point of it is that we're all doing very different things, and you should. Just Amen. be enjoy that you're going to see you will be different than seeing me to seeing whoever else that Burr to Chappelle. You know, you're getting different things. So if you're into something, just go watch the person that does the thing that you like. Yeah. And then if you're not into it, then don't go, you know. I don't like the idea of like this uh you know, you're supposed to have like a voice. It's like you should use your platform to. I had a joke that was somewhat. Or say, am I special about global warming? Mm-hmm. Just saying how I don't. I don't know what it is. Yeah. You know, like I don't. Well, know it's how, a benefit if you live in the fucking north, bro. You're about to get a beach in a couple. It's of years, great. Dude. Yeah, Think about yeah. that. You've been in Alaska for fucking thirty years, yeah, yeah. and finally you're in Barbados. Ice caps are melting. You and you're like good. Yeah. You know. It kind of everybody kind of deserves their turn with the beach. I feel like a little. And they're in Alaska's getting a, a nod. They're yeah. getting thrown their way. Oh, they, yeah. They called. They had a polar bear the other day. You know, they caught him with a couple of limes in his pocket. So you know they're getting crazy. Polar bears are getting cooler. Yeah, because they're very aggressive. Yeah, yeah. Because they're some around of those, yeah. the cold and they're in the cold so much. So now that they're I'd be aggressive too. You're in the fucking cold all day. They don't know. If somebody was like, hey, dude, you know, there's fucking warmer I, shit down here. I always they think, do you out. think, uh, like, do bears ever just like, they're like, Whew. like, do they ever have like that <laughs> feeling of just, you know, because they don't ever feel like they're cold. They lay in snow. <laughs> and true. Is it ever just like, oh, Ooh. like yeah. they get in the water and you're like, oh, <laughs> like there's, you don't ever, they don't have that emotion. Like you never see it. So maybe it's in there, yeah. but we just don't yeah, that's see it. True. But I mean, yeah. Why are they not just. Yeah. Like you never see a bear just kind of rubbing his yeah, balls around like, a fire. You know? <laughs> they just a little like, ah, it's cold today. You know, just something like you want to give them like warmth. Like you go to the zoo and they have it like real cold and you're like, well, how do you not know? What if they want it? Well, the zoo's a fucking trap house, dude. I mean, let's be honest. You can smoke cigarettes there. The animals yeah. are caged up. Yeah. It's almost like, it's like the side street in Amsterdam with the red light district. You know, it's like the yeah. orange light district where they got the older ladies. If you go to the red light district during the daytime in Amsterdam, it's older women. Oh yeah. So it's more of those daytime. Those that can't sun just bunnies. work at late and yeah. anymore. Like they're just like I just can't do those. Yeah, I can't do those hours. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'll can't, fuck after lunch. Up. You know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah. It's those kind of ladies. Yeah. And so you go there and you're milling around, and it's all these old. You know, much easier to talk to. Nice. Kids are gone. Give you suggestions. Their kids are in, yeah. Like they moved out. Yeah, they're like, yeah, dude. yeah. They stopped for a little bit. They're back. Yeah. Like yeah. they came back. They always. I always stayed in touch just in case I wanted to come back. <laughs> They like if you go work at a restaurant again, like after so many years. But yeah, dude, that's the craziest. Ex- I-, I love that vibe when you go back to the restaurant and it's never the same. And you always think, oh, when I leave this restaurant, this place is gonna fucking go to hell. Yeah. And the truth is, though, you were just a busboy, yeah. fucking <laughs> just wasting all the whipped just, cream yeah. all the time, dude. I used to get two pockets full of fucking bread pudding and go sit on the toilet and eat them while I was in there. You know. <laughs> With my bare hands, bro. And I thought I was a good worker. Yeah. <laughs> and you, you would like... And I think I was, actually. Yeah. I was probably one of the better. Yeah. Some guy got busted buying illegal shrimp over there, and they fucking came in in cuffs one night and took him out, man. He was buying it for the restaurant. Yeah, he was buying it for the restaurant. He was buying it, like, through an un, un, uh, un, um, unmonitored channel. Yeah, basically, like, oh, here's a guy with a fucking bucket over here. Where over the here, these are USDA approved or whatever. And then he would just sell them and like, and it, but like you get the fucking shrimp. bootleg. How do you even meet the like, like you know? That's the, see, that's the we're talking about the uh, <laughs> confrontational guy, like a guy wearing your shirt is a guy like that, a guy that can you got to be open yeah. to be able to meet to someone that's like, do you want some? Yeah. Do you want what kind of shrimp? Do you want you want the government <laughs> shrimp or do you want? To come to the back of my car and yeah, you want to see what I got shrimp. in the aquarium. It is and then the guy Toyota buys it sale. and gives it to people, and would never be like, yeah, like you know, I just don't want people to not get sick and stuff <laughs> like that. Like he just has, he doesn't have that feeling to like, uh-uh. like that. That's an awesome guy. Like you know, like, I mean, uh, it's not good. You don't want to eat his shrimp, but he's brave. But though. I like that the guy thinks like that. That bravado. Yeah, just yeah, that in it, just kind of like yeah, yeah it's the fine, fonds man. of shrimp. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, there, I don't know if anybody's in his life. Yeah, it's like, you ever see people? Like, hey man, 
chill out with all of the fucking shellfish, bro. He don't have anybody like that. There's no one he's like yeah. been friends with for more than a few days. Yeah. Like it's all like just everybody that's in his life. He's like, oh, this is my buddy. And they, and, <laughs> and like, you know, uh, you ever hear two people talk? Like you're over here to like crazy people talk and you want to just go like, do e either one of you know what you <laughs> said to each other? Like, do you have... If I had to, if I'd pull you aside and put you in a room, to, yeah. uh, and, like, could you break down with either one, of, or would you just be like, nah, I don't, we, nothing, we don't know, and they've never known. Oh uh, yeah, man. they've never known. Well, people are a lot of people. I mean, you know, a lot of people are straight criminals and straight hoes, bro. Um, <laughs> so one of the reasons that we wanted you to be here today, yeah. Uh, and Nick Bargatze is from Nashville, or you live in yeah, Nashville? I live you're, in. I'm from there. You're from there. Yeah. Yeah. And I was actually just going to go look at some land out in Leaper's Fork, actually. Oh, yeah. That's so, a, uh, it's really a nice area. That. Yeah, I don't know if I can afford it, but I'm going to go drive past it. Yeah, it's a good... Uh, we delivered... Uh, I delivered washers and dryers to one of the Judds. Oh, really? Yeah, a long time ago. Like, uh, And we went in their house. Was it nice? Yeah, their house was big, and uh, they had a gym in there. And that I was like... I remember Can seeing a, a picture gym. of the Judds? It was Winona Judd, maybe? Winona might It was like Ashley Judd. Ashley Judd's like super hot yeah and, and judd like, apatow's their busted looking brother yes, i guess it was winona judd we delivered a a washer i delivered a washer to her oh damn and uh yeah and so judd's and then we went to their house but that's where like a lot of leap forks like uh i think just timberlake's got a place out there like that's a lot it's of fancy, like stuff like that of, yeah, yeah, yeah it's pretty far out it's pretty far uh out. But it's very, it's a, yeah, it's a nice area. They have a little town, like a little town square and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I went one it's time. It's cool, yeah. I went one time out there and uh, and I just really loved it. It's very cool. I mean, they have, you know, Nashville's like insane now. How hard is it to get up there and do comedy and practice? Is there... uh, I don't do it much out there. Like if I'm doing a late night set, I'll, I'll run around to run that set. But I, I basically do it on the road. I mean, I figure it all out on the road. Like I'm gonna wow. do some clubs. This uh, like I'm right now. I'm on uh, doing like some theaters now that we already had booked mm -hmm. before we knew when the specials would come out and all this. So I have I'm roughly have like 40 new minutes, and so I'm still having to do some old stuff. And then I'll do some clubs this summer, and uh, and then the fall tour will be like hopefully completely turned over. So you, I could go run around wherever. I could go to Zany's and like they have like they have they have nights like Tuesday nights enough for me. I like I like I think I write better like on the road like doing a longer set than I would do. Oh, interesting. Uh, fifteen minutes. I mean, I was a fifteen minute you know in New York. Yeah. That's all you did. But you but know, so you write better. You, you so you use now just your time on the road. You'll take a little bit of that time during shows. And I'm yeah. You just you got so much space because you're. You don't have to, I can get you at any point. Like, you know, like I have right. an hour up here. So, you know, when you're doing like just 10, 15 minutes, I mean, it's still nice to do those spots and do them. Like if I come here in New York, I'll, you know, go do some. But but say if I'm in living in Nashville, is there an opportunity to get up and perform sometimes and practice? Yeah, yeah. Material? I think every day, every, everywhere that they have. Nashville's like got a little scene now and like, you know, uh, all the comics are very young. You know, yeah. it's like 20 year old people starting and they oh, they God. have some very cool rooms this, this play called the east room and there's some other clubs opening up there uh zany's is the main club that hitter there. yeah and then uh Probably they have a dollar general you know yeah we have a dollar people we got one right across from uh zany's there's a dollar general dollar general right across the street oh yeah uh um so what we have here today moved. i want to let you know what if i already like i think I, it could have moved Maybe it's not moved. Has it moved? I don't know. I, I, don't I mean, the last time I was there, it was, it was closed, but it was only because it was late at night. But I wanted to let you know one of the reasons we were happy to have you here is because we've been doing the March Madness of states. Okay. So we've had uh, Brian Callens come in. Yeah. And he's a he's a kind of on the senior circuit of comedy. You may have seen him in some of those yeah. kind of older films the and stuff. older stuff you hear yeah, about him? It wasn't black and white, but when they just started to get color. And you movies. asked him questions? Yeah, black, white, orange. Like yeah. when they just started having color like in film. <laughs> and uh, then we had Joe Coy for the second round. And now we are cruising into... Um, Actually, where are we at, Nick? We're midway through the second round right now. We're, we're midway through the second round, and we need your help. So this is the good time to watch the tournament, like a second round, like it's fun. Yeah, still some upsets. Oh yeah, and this is wars. This is if these states like were like straight up a real deal war. Yeah, civil war. Because state, we could be headed back to state run governments. Yeah. Okay. I found Sorry. This. American Civil War. I watched. Looked up that. Wow, it's cool. 
So yeah. that's a sign, obviously, that somebody knows something we don't. Um, no, yeah, that Siri knows. Yeah. She just heard it say <laughs> Civil War. So this is these are real states that would be fighting against each other. Some okay. of them already advanced into their rounds. Yeah. Where are we at, Nick? Yeah, we're through the midway through the second round, and we're going to start in the second round of the Midwest. Okay. Um, our first matchup is the two-seed Ohio versus Iowa. Okay, and we have any uh, videos that came in for any of one of those? Yeah, here's Ohio. Ohio is definitely beating Iowa. For one, we invented football, one of the toughest sports ever. I looked up facts from Iowa. The first shit that I saw was that Iowa has the most golf courses per capita. Nobody playing golf can bust ass. Come on. Why would he not put a shirt on for that? <laughs> there's a number of people who... And there's a limited like, number of shirts, apparently, in Ohio. In so Ohio, like they the, don't. That ain't the textile belt. Um, so what do you think, man? Uh, Ohio, Iowa. Let's start right here with uh, with what you even think, Nate. Uh, I love, how, what, what's the seedings? Is there is there a reason they're seeded, or y'all just put them in? In each region, the top four seeds... Uh, advance based on population they got by oh, okay and then the rest of that we tried to have some good matchups so it's, it's there is random. a reason the higher the seed more populated mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but so it's like is the whole state going to fight yeah ohio split up that's the only thing that's the big is it swing state right mm -hmm. like oh it's a good point uh so you got to win that vote so you would have people that are not gonna that could they could be fighting with their own state which could Iowa could wildly take advantage of. They could. Now it's and none of this is like really it's not it's not political. It's not political. It's just like straight up the people. It's the people, but that's so, a good point the is people, that the state that the state has a lot of divided ideas. It has ideas a lot of divided ideas. So like whatever their ideas could be on is like I want to eat a salad to I want to eat a steak. Right. Those people are gonna have to get along. And I don't and Iowa is like just straight up like they do wrestlers. Yep. They have a lot of wrestlers out of there. A lot of great wrestling. A lot of big, just like corn, like, you know, just like big dudes. Like, and Ohio does too. A lot Ohio's of corn, a lot of arms and legs in Iowa. Arm and leg days big in Iowa. Ohio has a lot of. Ohio, I mean, Ohio definitely is the middle of America. You know, I mean, Ohio, you have definitely like a lot of football. You have a lot of tradition. You have Columbus, Cincinnati, Cleveland, yeah. Dayton, Canton. Um, Canton. I was, I think I just. More golf courses? That's huge, though. So you got a lot of just. I like to golf, but it's it's cold. Uh, but I mean, I, I'm hung on the, honestly, like the states being split as like, it's just, I feel like it's two groups of people. So making them, Iowa feels more unified than Ohio would. Look, I, I know Ohio's, a, Ohio's a, 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 a two seat. So it's, it's just, and that's a seven seat. It's a, it's a big, big. If you go on a population alone, but Iowa, I feel like could be more organized. They would be all on the same page. Yeah, uh, they have a lot of alcoholism too in Ohio. I mean, Akron, that's where AA program was started. A lot of drugs. Oh, yeah. A lot of straight up fucking brain. Yeah, a lot so of people. So some dudes that would like do some stuff. Like Since some a nasty dude, I saw a couple of sisters beat on. Uh, there was this dude, you know a guy named Gary Minky? Uh huh. Anyway, the some comment? people fucking beat this dude up one time. He he had two milkshakes and he yeah. was trying to, <laughs> so he held one right up by his chest yeah. and like pressed it against yeah. his chest with his arm. Yeah. And the other one he had in his hand because he was trying to film these. Um, they had some like urban ladies out there fighting in a parking lot, right? Yeah. So he got up real close with his camera, right, and they were fighting. So they all three, they were fighting each other, turned on him, right? And at McDonald's had closed, and so he had these two milkshakes dude, that, <laughs> that didn't have fucking lids on them. Which it's hard to get if they spill. McDonald's is not on board. With, oh, no, they're yeah. not fucking. Their ice cream machine is broke. It's yeah, we're down. Yeah. Ice cream machine's down. So it's you're been down forever. Ever. Yeah. And the only way to get it to work is to be nice to the bitch at the window. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So then here's what happened, bro. These, oh, these two, uh, these girls. So he was trying to run away, but he had on these shorts and the belt, the shorts, uh. He used to give out free tickets to comedy clubs all the time. This yeah. is this dude who's famous for. We drive around town and give away free tickets to comedy clubs in exchange for food at restaurants. Yeah. And he was this most haphazard, an amazing guy in his own right, kind of like this Confederacy of Dunces, Ignatius Riley type of man, you know? But he's so he's trying to run. He had so many free tickets in his pockets that yeah. they those the weight of those pulled his shorts down. Yeah. So now he can't get away, right? And he yeah. has these two milkshakes, <laughs> dude. And when you're apparently in his head, you don't fucking ever let go of two milkshakes. Yeah, yeah. You know? The ice cream so machine's down. You're not, I mean, yeah. you're, you're like, this is it. Yeah. 
If you want milkshakes, you're not getting them again. So these girls started just beating the <laughs> shit out of him, bro. And by the end, he had like a third of a cup of milkshake left. They both uh, were gone. And that's a true story, and there's some video of it, too. Yeah. Just uh, the video. That's like the video you see of something where the camera eventually hits the ground, and you just hear it. Yeah, yeah. Like, you see the beginning of it, and you're like, God, I wish we'd have seen that whole video. And you, it just goes... <laughs> This might be the most I've ever laughed on here, I feel like. They uh, unified. The, who were those people? They were all from Iowa. They were? Oh, those right? three girls? So those three girls were fighting each other. <laughs> oh, that's true. And then unified to fight this guy. To fight the guy who Which was Which is a strong point for uh, Iowa. That's a good point. Because they, they were, even if they're fighting for the battle of their state, they seem like well, they would in stick a, to in Cincinnati. State. Oh, that was in Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. No, never mind. But let's hear from Iowa. <laughs> you but blew everything. Point. You blew everything I set up. I'm sorry, Nate. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Theo, Nate, Nate. I'm a huge fan, Theo. I like your comedy too. But Nate, you're great. Um, oh, it's Gianni from Rhode Island. I just wanted to weigh in on Iowa versus Ohio. Um, I'm from Rhode Island, so I have nothing. I've really no dog in yeah, this fight. Yeah, we know. But I think we Iowa would win because they have corn and they can feed their soldiers. And Ohio just really has meth. And um, also, Tom Arnold is from uh, Iowa, so oh. he's a crazy bastard, so he could basically, you know, be the general of their army. Tom Arnold turned uh, into a sweaty fan, Trump the, uh, hunter, though, gang, which gang. is getting a little bit bizarre. Okay, first of all, no more twinks, obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that got to send in by the twink nation. Um, did he have good points about it? What, can you recap what that young fellow said? Uh, Tom <laughs> Arnold was basically his, his big he's one. From Iowa. Ashton Kutcher's from Iowa. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna have to have some upsets, and so like I just think like Iowa like is a uh, a very like you're from Iowa. They're proud to be from Iowa, and Ohio is uh, you, you think know it's a little more transient. I think it's a little more like <clears throat> Cincinnati and Columbus are wildly different cities. Uh, Dayton is wildly different. They're all very like they they could be their own states. Like it feels like that's a good. There's point. not like a strong. I mean, they all like Ohio State. Like I get that, but I mean, there's people that like Cincinnati that are diehard Cincinnati fans, like in college, and then yeah, not Ohio divided. State. Everybody's in Iowa. Well, I guess they have Iowa State. Yeah, but, but so it's guess, uh, no, but I all. think so, there's there's. I mean, I, I don't know what what upsets you're trying to give. Like, if well, look, I'm, I'm glancing at upsets. You got to pick some, you know. Yeah, those are good. Those are all good like, points. There's no right way to do it. Uh, one thing Iowa has, they've got the field of dreams, so they uh, can just have dead people coming out of the corn. Yeah. I think that's uh, just easing. And that's in Dyersville. And I actually pulled off the interstate one time and spent some time in there. Beautiful place. So maybe uh, we'll side with this little twink, and uh, I'll go Iowa. So, I'll go upset on this one. The fucking upset. Look, Upset. that's a wild, you know. 63% of the listeners said Ohio. Bill. Shout out to my boy Maurice Claret, who I talked to this morning from Business and Biceps. Um, but we'll take Iowa. <laughs> we'll take Gianni the Twink. Did you talk to Maurice Claret? Yeah. It took him like 40 minutes, actually. He was on the podcast once. Oh, he really? Yeah, yeah. He's a great interview. Yeah, he was uh, yeah, yeah, dude. He was... Uh, he was Ohio. I'd he was started... Youngstown. Now, that's yeah. the thing. Hold on. You're going to have some... Let's get into some fucking demographics. You're going to have some real brothers. Real dudes. Come yeah. out of Ohio. So let's dog. see. All right. Iowa, so we could be if you want a so you real brother. Maurice Credit's a great scenario. You you got a guy that was about to get handed one hundred million dollars and still went to prison. Yeah. <laughs> like I mean, like a guy that like that's a straight up dude that like and in the the game uh in the, the championship game, game and when they played Miami, he's the one they fumbled and then went and got the ripped the, back. got the fumble back. <laughs> which is a real and then now Sean Taylor's dead too, so yeah. Point. Where was he? Sean, oh, Sean Taylor was. That's who he ripped it from. That's who he ripped it yeah, from. He he ripped ripped it from. from. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he killed him. <laughs> killed Sean Taylor. Is that? <laughs> should be a fact. Look, that's pretty gangster, bro. I mean, I don't know. It's a tough one. It's a lot of people. We'll let everybody. Uh, let's get everybody's vote. What do you think, Nick Gianni? I like Iowa. I, I think they're scrappy, corn-fed wrestlers. Okay. I'm going to Iowa too. Yeah, I mean, I like. It's an upset, man. It's a big. It's a big upset. It's all a, right. You were hope you were there to watch it. You're gonna. <laughs> uh, you know, you don't want to be out doing stuff. You wanted to see this happen. Yeah. You don't want to be at the mall. You don't you know? want to be like, what happened? You're like, Ohio lost. And you're like, what? Yeah. Like, who lost? Yeah. You know, like, it would be, I think it's a big upset. <laughs> yeah, agreed. All right. Uh, uh, Iowa it is. Ohio. Sweet. Next next matchup, the three seed Michigan versus the six seed uh, was kind of gerrymandered into the Midwest, Kentucky. Yeah. Have y'all done any upsets? Is Tennessee, we're, we're out? Yeah, you guys lost in the first round, actually. To Virginia? To Virginia, sorry. Uh, 
Yeah, that helps. I don't appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, so we are on, can you put Iowa then in that bracket right yeah. there? All right, Michigan, please, bud. And then we got Michigan and Kentucky. Michigan and Kentucky. And here is... Oh, oh we got a video. Let's see well, what happens. I'll, t- I'll tell you what. You don't want that upset. You'd love to see Michigan play Ohio. <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's like that's. But that's, we can't have that anymore. So we got yeah. Michigan and yeah. Kentucky. We gotta move <laughs> we it. That up. Oh, here's Gianni again. This little twink. What's up, Theo? From Michigan, representing Kentucky. Don't stand a chance, right? So first off, Michigan, two peninsulas, the only state with two peninsulas. Why does that matter? Because it's fucking cool, right? So we got three areas to Michigan, really insider guide here right we got like the lower industrial part this is like flint it's like detroit it's all the rundown shit you hear about i mean flint they've been drinking radioactive lead water for years so you can only imagine what it does to those guys but you get like down in detroit man and that place is burning it is always on fire (laughs) right i mean you can see the glow on a nice night like in new york and chicago you can see the glow and they go yeah there's detroit so you think about an army of urban gentlemen carrying guns on fire yeah. You get in northern Michigan, right? A lot of deer hunters, right? Sometimes they'll shoot a neighbor. Sometimes they'll shoot another deer hunter. They don't really care too much. They just want to shoot some, so they're trigger happy for them Kentuckians. And then the northern part of the UP, they call them the Upers, right? Those guys are from Europe. They're fucking crazy. The Colts made them gone mad. So Kentucky don't stand a chance. Gang, gang. Gang, brother. Dang, wow. Uh, that That's was a good. lot of information. <clears throat> I like that. Uh, yeah, as two peninsulas, the only state that did. I don't know if I'm even positive what a peninsula is, but I like they have both of them. Well, peninsulas uh, are Florida. Is it the three sided? So yeah, about. it's the three sided, right? Yep. yep. Uh, is Manhattan a peninsula? Or it's an island. Manhattan Island. Oh, and I don't then, even uh, know. Like Baja, Mexico. Yeah, yeah, Rome. Well, Florida. Like, yeah, Florida's the mm-hmm. biggest example. Of the peninsula, yeah, the, uh, the peninsula of fame. Uh, Wisconsin's got one. Bitico. What else do we have here? Kentucky. So there you got Kentucky versus Michigan. That's a good point, Michigan. What are the populations of those? Can you figure that out for us, Nick? Now Kentucky, you got horses, man. You got to so immediately. They're going to be much more mobilized. Michigan. You know they had the auto industry, but it left. You know everything's like crumbled there. They had success. They had success, but it, so then they'll have a chip on yeah. their shoulder. <clears throat> they have a chip on the shoulder, but like they're, I just was in Detroit and uh, they're, it's a place that's like popping back up now. Like, you know, Michigan's like a, Detroit's like a city. I always say it's like a city that like everybody kind of roots for, even if you have no. Agreed. You just, everybody's like, you want Detroit to be good and like. Uh, Retroit. That's what they're saying. Yeah. They're calling it, it Retroit. Oh. Because they're doing it. They're trying to do it again. Oh, because they're doing it again. Well, that's not a good thing for a fight though. Like to be like, we had to redo it. Right. I mean, you couldn't even get it together for the first fight. Where are we at on pop? Uh, Kentucky's uh, four and a half million, and Michigan is just shy of ten. One guy who sent in a video of Michigan said that they have the car plants, which are shutting down, but they could easily oh, that's a good point. in a time of war switch those and start yeah. making tanks. That's a great point. See, man. yeah, you that's know, we're, a great point. Yeah. We're Think like about we're, that. We were just talking about. Uh, like, you know, we talk about the Iowa, Hawaii, Ohio, and I was like worried about it. But then it is like, it's like, I feel like I was like, would stick together and be very like, like, cause the yeah. population is probably very different, but they're very, they could, they could really like get together as a group and like really, st- and just like never let up cause they just are so good. And that's what we could help. But this is where like Michigan, so many people like, we well, yeah, have a bigger guy, population. Let's see what Kentucky point. has going on here. What's up, Theo? Uh, just wanted to say a couple things about this upcoming match against, uh, Bitch again. Uh, what are they? Water. A lot of it. Land of the lakes. I mean, Motor City. You know what gets Kentucky's motor running? is fighting and fucking. And that's what we do. And that's what we gon' do. Kentucky all day gang, gang baby. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. I like that animal call at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got a really short one for Kentucky as well. That one. Okay. Kentucky will win because it's the best. Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> and that uh, compelling argument. Yeah, was that um, Jeremy Pitson, that kidnapped kid? Was that him? No, <laughs> Tim- <laughs> Timothy <laughs> Pitt. Patson. That's the video. The FBI is going to be like, we need to see that video. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Like, no, that's a handsome young child who ever sent that in. And thank you, brother. Yeehaw to you too, young fella. Um, I think you're right. I think the industrial side alone, having those plants, having the, the that in the genealogy of the people that are there, that they could start to manufacture something. That they get it together. I mean, they 
like you might think of the speech that they got to give you know the speech that michigan's going to give is like oh, we yeah. we were taken once by just like we didn't get it together i don't know you know i'm not from yeah. there but like that you know just like just they lost detroit they it all crumbled yeah and like that speech in the locker room of you know just oh. like but we are not going to get taken again right you could see that. We're not going to, like, yeah, I could see them, like, really getting everybody pumped and excited. Like, Michigan's, like, really, they need to be unified. I My parents are from Kentucky. They're from Louisville. Mm, yeah. Uh, and, and Kentucky is, like, they're wild in their own. Well, they're fighting or fucking. Here's the thing, though. If you're fighting and somebody wants to fuck, you're going to go fuck. So yeah. right there, you're not going to be fighting at that moment. And I think that's when you get beat. For me, it's a Michigan. Yeah. Word. Kentucky could be, like, it would be, like, the guy that's, like, the loud guy then just gets laid out <laughs> like yeah you know, like those videos like oh yeah like what do you Kentucky's think great win? talkers yeah oh yeah they're great talkers yeah it was close one 56 percent said kentucky wow damn dude and i don't like university of michigan listeners are over two sorry university of michigan i love you i just don't like i don't mind if they lose sometimes that's what i meant <laughs> all right next matchup in the midwest we got four indiana versus a pesky 12 seed minnesota and Indi- uh. Minnesota versus Indiana. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Minnesota wins because I'm from Minnesota, because Minnesota is land of the 10,000 lakes, mm-hmm. because there are so many good hip hop artists from minnesota it's the four seasons you get the summer the spring the winter the fall you get it all it's beautiful um all the time minnesota oh dang minnesota she hit you with that double minnesota right there bro and that'll make me dang (laughs) that'll make me gestate a little let's hear this young lady who's this for indiana Hey, Theo. My name is Allison. I'm from Valparaiso, Indiana. Valpo. I'm trying to let you know that Minnesota doesn't have a chance. Indiana would win, hands down, um, mainly because of Gary and Indianapolis. Gary was the murder capital of the True. U.S. in 1994, and Gary and Indianapolis consistently still make the list today. Yeah. Killers. I mean, we have just cold-blooded killers in this state, and we just don't care. We have no respect for human life here. Damn. And that's just sad, but good in this competition. True, so that's right. Definitely would win. I don't think we'd win the whole thing, but at least enough to make it to the next round. Um, so that's all. Oh, yeah. A little cutie bird there, too, young lady from Valparaiso. And I will say, everybody who sent in a video for Indiana cited Gary. It sounds like the scariest place on earth. No, oh, Gary's yeah. near Chicago. I think. Uh, yeah, he's trying to kill Michael Chicago Jackson, a couple times in the middle of the night. Uh, they found is Gary. Is Michael Jackson trying. from there? From Gary? I don't know. I like to state stuff that it could not be true. <laughs> Just go. Ahead. It's a known fact that Michael Jackson started from Gary, Gary Indiana. Indiana. <laughs> and uh, Indiana's a wild place, man. Wow. He's bo- from there. Michael Jackson is from there. No uh, way. Gary Indiana. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but Prince is from Minnesota. I know, but like who? Like Michael Jackson. You know, he's, he's way kept better some than secrets. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but can they, you shoot a secret at somebody? Indiana's the real <laughs> deal, dude. Like Indiana's got just like the different levels. Yeah, Gary, but Gary is a like a street, criminal. But do you know it? how like a s- <laughs> small of a town for you to be the murder capital of the country of a town that no one's ever heard of? <laughs> that's like true. that. Do you know how crazy that is? Like sh- when we say like Chicago and stuff, and you're like, yeah, obviously like New York City, these big cities. And Gary, just after a dude, after a, a Gary, Indiana, yeah, yeah. is like, you know, just doing, That's I true. know a Gary, and yeah, his town really is, I mean, he, they're, they're, it's a joke. Like Gary they Busey. would, yeah. He, the Gary, people from Gary, Indiana can go to Chicago and be like, I'm from Gary, and like Chicago has to just respect, like they have to show some respect. You know, yeah, uh, yeah. I think you might be right, man. I think we might have to. I'll, I'll go Indiana on this one because I'm think trying it's to think. Wow, that was a big upset. That Minnesota, Minnesota people are going to think that the now. lakes are rivers and they're going to get in one and then have to try to go down it and then have to get out and drag their boat to the next lake. It's just a I, little. But now I'll say this: too. the Mississippi River starts in Minnesota at Lake Itasca National it, Park, and I've actually been there. It ends in Indiana, though. A lot of people don't know that. That's true. Uh, that's another. It's a. Uh, let's not look that one up. But it's a. Uh, 
But to have that Mississippi, have that waterway, have that capability of moving things from side to side, you know? In, but it, Gary and Ann is up against the, uh, they're against like the Zaire, they're I like think. Michigan. No, yeah. I think it's like Gary and Anna, like um, might be. It's very close to Lake Michigan. Look, Gary is wherever the fuck he wants to be. Okay, <laughs> you tell Gary. Gary will sometimes he'll go down to fucking Bloomington. He'll sleep down there. Gary will roll over to Indy. He does what he wants. You would be talking. You would you would be talking to Gary before you realized it was Gary. Yeah, you'd be like, I thought your name was Ben, and he's like, it's Gary. It's been Gary the whole time, <laughs> and but then it's too late. You're in a corner. You're it's done. over. You're done. Okay, so I'll, we'll roll with Indiana next up. All right, the number one seed Illinois versus. The number nine seed, South Dakota. Hmm. South Dakota versus Illinois. Illinois, they... This guy from Soda. I got a whole city. Actually, the only city in Illinois is you, Chicago. You should guess where I got a lot of guns there. A lot of violence. So. Just off their look? Like, just what like, the guy looks like? Fight. However, South Dakota, bro, that's home to Brock Lesnar. We got Brock Lesnar, okay? He probably counts as at least 20 people. And I'd even bet he has a few relatives that are gorilla-sized like him. So if I got to pick, man, I'm going with the SD. That's South Dakota, boy. Dang, son. I like Lesnar. What's up, Theo? Uh, Coming to you from Chicago. What's up, brother? Uh, I wanted to weigh in on Illinois versus South Dakota. Please do. I'm saying Illinois is definitely going to win by a landslide. Uh, Illinois has a higher population. Um, well, South Dakota doesn't really have much. It just has Mount Rushmore. I mean, Chicago by itself could easily take down South Dakota. We got a South Side, and we got hot dogs. We could just chase them around with hot dogs if we have to. That Wiener Circle, baby, and I've been over there, and they called me the N-word while I was trying to order a hot dog, but that's how they do it there. It's like that's the way all it, part of it. It's like part of their shtick, yeah. Um, it's like the mustard thing. It's that. <laughs> yeah. Like, don't use no. You can only use must. Don't use ketchup. Same thing. Yeah, and we pretty, use and we use the n word at you. It's wild, yeah. But no ketchup and the n word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is fun, man. We're mixing it up. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll take it. Uh, it's just a fun. Yeah, it's like a fun place. It's called Wiener Circle. It's pretty famous. Um, but uh, this is. I think. Look, the guy said it flat out. Chicago alone could beat South Dakota. I don't even think it, this is like like you're, you're, this, this is not even it, it's nothing. Dude. <laughs> but now South, South Dakota, Dakota the Badlands of South Dakota. Now that is men that are. I know, they, but they're too spread out. Like it's you know it would be. Did you ever hear like it was like uh, somewhere like Saipan or or like wherever one of the wars where the, that guy where the war ended and they didn't tell him and Paul so he, Revere. No, 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 no. This was like World War. Uh, or the atomic bomb we dropped the atomic bomb and uh uh you go to saipan like you know japan like and so they would fight on one of the islands this is unreal i shouldn't be diving this far into like i'm showing like i have no education. yeah this is america we're talking about uh i know but this so the point of it is this there was a guy that was stuck in a hole because he didn't know the war ended oh yeah because they couldn't get to him to tell him and it's before phones and like Hero stuff like that so yeah, talking about this guy. Hero. So this dude lived uh, same birthday as me. Oh yeah. After the war ended, Onada spent 29 years reading. We finish that up, Nick. For holding us? out in the Philippines until his former commander traveled from Japan to formally relieve him from duty by order of the emperor in 1974. So he went AWOL. Is really what happened? No, 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 no. They could. They didn't tell him. There's no. Uh, they, there was, you know, they couldn't be like text him and be like, "Hey, man, like the but war I, is like over." Like, so he just was like assumed that he was on this island, and they were, and they just assumed that it was happening. So he like stayed and like hid and like made sure, you know, just had no, you know, yeah. I mean, look, there's got to be something wrong with him a little bit. <laughs> okay, like, good. That's but, all like, I'm saying, dude. Know, I'm like, after no, this is a regular years, dude, man. After two years, bro, you got to fucking ask somebody if people still. But I think he war. was like by himself, you know. But he doesn't want to ask because he's afraid. Oh yeah. Because they were like straight up killing him or like you know and right. so he can't go up to be like excuse me is the war over and if the guy's like uh yeah it's over and then they and he went through not. the trauma of war who knows like what that you know what going through the war could have left him in a crazy mental state you know and left him yeah in a really they found him spot. like it was i mean it was yeah 29 years it said like 20 yeah mm -hmm. i mean i do agree there's a point you know 15 years he's like i if you talk to me he's like i would bet it's over yeah but there's still something <laughs> in his head that's like Maybe not, you get know, to work. And also, game. does he get to bill him for all that time served? I hope he does. 
Maybe that was his if plan. If he comes out and get his check. Yeah. And uh, just like, how much did that give? Like $30 million? <laughs> like just yeah. something insane. Like he's like, he got drafted. 24 uh, hours a day, man. So I think that's what happened in South Dakota. You have too many people that, like Illinois would be on their house before they realized that like it even started. Yeah. And like they're, I think they're too spread out. I've been to South Dakota. I did a show there, and they had a parrot. Parrot in the corner of the bar. In the corner of the bar. <laughs> yeah, you've done that room. And if you said a profanity, it would get upset. Yes, and then they tell you. So the first show, the parrot's in there. Second, Second show, show no parrot. There. And you're like, where are they? We have a parrot room. And you're like, so you, there's another place this parrot can go and not ruin the show. Yeah, that's in, it's insane to me. And that was ten percent like, of my audience, bro. That parrot was ten percent of my yeah. audience, bro. I need. Yeah, we needed him. It was, it was called Custer's there's last stand up. I think it was. Yeah, there's a indoor pool. Uh, I don't even think you stay there. I wouldn't do it if I had to go back. Man, it was hectic, bro. There, why would they not make? I just never like. I thought there was nowhere for the parrot to go. Yeah, I they, didn't know they had a specific room for it to go to. They got room. So up there. the parrot like had already seen your hour, and then he's like, "Okay, I'm not coming." <laughs> the second show, yeah. Oh yeah, the parrot walked out. <laughs> yeah, he unlocked himself out of the cage. No one's ever seen that before. It was crazy, and, man. Uh, <laughs> he and he went and he what? left the room and he just wasn't like he's like heard it he does a lot of that like the whole time you talk and you're just like god this guy's killing me uh That's yeah hilarious. but i just always i love that there was a room i love that there's a place for him not to ruin the show and they yeah. they choose for the the, the <laughs> early good show to get ruined i don't mind bringing a parrot out to the late show i expect it almost yeah. it's a late show it's, yeah. ma- it's chaos oh i seen a guy with a dove a couple months ago <laughs> just <laughs> like roll in just like it's nothing just you know it's a peace bird man is what it is but yeah i think illinois wins this round that's crazy that we both perform for that bird bro <laughs> same bird brothers dude dude it's uh yeah it's crazy it's a good you know beautiful animal all, All right, right, let's move in. Let's, let's let's do one more bracket here. Yeah, this is great too. Four four more matchups. Let's yeah. do four more matchups. Yeah, yep. I love this. Is uh, <laughs> wonderful. Man, it's been a real test of like. Uh, <clears throat> I wish I knew more about anything. I think I'd be <laughs> no, able to put more good. facts into some of it. <laughs> that's good that you don't. I think it's going to end up being five parts too, so it's really expansive. Uh, yeah, it's really like March, it April, maybe on. May. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all of them. All right, number two seed Arizona versus number seven seed New Mexico. Yo, what up, Theo? Where's he from? I just okay. got to look at his face. I know exactly where this guy is from. Where's he's he from, from Arizona. Arizona. Uh, yeah, because he's yeah, he looks a he looks a little less dream catchery to me. <laughs> two simple reasons on why Arizona beats New Mexico State oh. any day of the week, any day of the More year. Coke. Number one, we've got the Grand Canyon. How are you going to fight someone who lives in their natural habitat in the Grand Canyon? We just lead them in and let them ride at the bottom. So how we you know how to work it? the canyon. They work the canyon. Number two, oh. we've got copper for days. Oh, yeah. For days. You know how many pennies we can make with copper, them little Abraham Lincolns? Yeah. How many we could drop from the top of the Grand Canyon? Ooh. On their heads. It's like torture. Instant death. Which was his war, brother. I mean, Grand Canyon and pennies. It's yeah, all you need. Gang, yeah, gang, it's gang, a good video. prison, the gang, Grand bro. Canyon. Grand Canyon is a great prison. I like that Grand like Canyon. Down there. They should have a prison, huh? How the hell does Grand Canyon have a fucking prison? No, I'm saying... Get your shit together, we, Sheriff Joe. I'll and, just put them all down there, the prisoners? Yeah, here's New, here's New Mexico. We got a rebuttal. What's up, Mr. Vaughn? What's up, Dean Kane? Um, I gotta say, Arizona <laughs> and New Mexico. Started back a little bit. That's Guys, unbelievable. This young man is if you, undeniably it, looks like Dean undeniably King. Undeniably looks like Dean King. And truthfully, I would believe it's his brother. Yeah. Like if he was D- Dean King's brother. Yeah. What's up, Mr. Vaughn? What's up, brother? Um, I gotta say, Arizona and New Mexico. I'm actually from Tucson, Arizona way. And Money, believe it or not, I don't think. I don't think they got it in them. Here's why. First of all, all the Mexicans on the south side, they're heading back down to Mexico. This sure. goes down. All the rich white people on the north side, that's going to be, like you said, target practice. And then you got a bunch of, what, college kids in the middle off a of speedway racing cars. I'm from Arizona, and I think New Mexico's got this because they got aliens. Um, they've got UFC fighters. And they've got green chili, um, which is going to, I think, 
really tear up some assholes. So I'm from Arizona, but I think New Mexico's got this all the way. So I don't know. What are your thoughts? Gang, gang, man, I love that guy. That guy did a really yeah, great job. I'll say great. this, man. Right back at you, dude. To to be from one and now live in the other. That's something you don't think about. Are people going to move? So if you're in, do you go back and fight for your home state? So if it was, say this happens, and then or, like if you're saying, but like so Arizona is littered with people not from Arizona. Right. So that state could empty. Like if you're like New York, Chicago, all these people that move up north, they go back home. Like you got like an uh, Ohio and Iowa. All the, like those people live there. Like that's where they're from. They're not, right. you're not a town that's like, oh, none of us are from here. So they could totally, everybody from New Mexico is from New Mexico. No one's like, I, I moved to New Mexico. Right, but he's also saying that if you have an, an immigrant population that was born in another country, are they going to go back to their home country? So I think you might have a lot of people, if it's, an, if it's a war between states, that some people, if they came here from Mexico and they live in, you know, like California, Texas, Arizona, New Mexico, yeah, they might be like, fuck it, I'm out of here. So I think you're going to have a lot of the population, and that's a lot of your working population there too, like your sort of more labor jobs, right? I used to work in countless restaurants in Tucson, Arizona, all the back house, everybody up there, a lot of Latino workers, a lot of Mexican workers there, right? So then you're going to have a bunch of rich white people who don't know how to fucking do anything, right? And that could really, really cost them, you know? I think that's some of what this young fella's saying. No, that, yeah. Well, that's what, and like, yeah, they're going to go home. Like, I mean, if you're fighting for your state, like, so like, if I don't live, I live in Tennessee now, but if I, if we're fighting states and I lived in, here in California, I would oh, go yeah. home and I'd fight for Tennessee. So like once the announcement goes out that like, Hey, all the states are going to fight. I would be, I would, and you could fight for Tennessee. How would you not in the movie Glory? Dude, if they make the movie Glory 2. Glory 2. I should get in it. I, that was one of my favorite movies. Bro, so it's good. So good. I watch that movie all the time. I don't VHS. Does it still hold up? Huh? I haven't watched it in a while. I don't believe in the, the war anymore. Uh, Silence of the no, Lambs doesn't joking. hold up. I don't know if that's. Uh, oh, no. Silence I don't, look, it happened. Up. I don't care if we believe it or not. I mean, fucking. You know, uh, it happened. There's nothing you and I can do about it. We didn't no. do it. No, no, I'm, I was joking. But I could so see I was you saying, and me like, in I don't glory. flat out believe in that oh, entire war. Dude, glory to the comedy. Of just coming in like it's a little more lighthearted. You and me are in easing it. into it. Just us coming in. How you doing? Hey guys, we're uh, uh, want to talk to you about a prop about, about a we have to convince you to get into it. Glory to glory to, yeah. it's happening. I could see uh, that. I could see it. Why not? You know, we could do it. Like we would do this. The glory two is Cat this. Williams in it with us. Glory two is this. <laughs> just the states fighting. Okay, who's it going to be then? I think this guy did a good job. I mean, Arizona, you got there, all, but I don't know, man. I think Arizona people are going to spread. I think people are going to go home. I think there's a. I think there's too many people that don't live there. So your population could be huge, but they're going to go home. People are going to go. Up, they don't want. They like. They like Phoenix and they like Arizona. Do they want to fight for them? No, I think they're going to go. Like, they're going to feel safer because they come from a Chicago and New York. So they're like, I'm going to go back to there. I'll I'll live in you know. And New Mexico, Breaking Bad is out of New Mexico. Which that's I know two guys that's in a trailer a, cooking. It's <laughs> that, basically a food truck that fucking ran off the they, interstate. That's a made-up show, but no one questioned it. No one's like, that, that ain't happening out there. Everybody's like, yeah, that's what happens out there. Yeah, but are those guys going to be able to fight both of them with their underpants and in a gas mask half the time? I are know, you, but the, 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 the brains of just like uh, Walter, <laughs> Walter White, dude, they just think... Uh, yeah, they both fucking live in the Hollywood Hills, they bro. Live, yeah. Those dudes ain't fucking down there. How many people live... <laughs> live in new mexico i bet it's less than 600 it's a very small Six, population yeah. <laughs> i just want to see how i many. did a a tour of uh, the breaking bad did you you can do it privately you can do it like it just shows up on your, your google maps oh wow and you drive to each thing i drove to the house and the lady was sitting out there yeah awesome. they're getting really pissed because people are actually throwing pizzas on the roof because it was a scene from breaking bad yeah so it's like a, did you see anything was i saw her to... sitting in the yard and i was too nervous to pull up in front because you, you know you know she knows right that you know what's happening what's up and, with this population here nicholas two million in new mexico and how many in arizona Seven. Seven million. So, I mean, let's say it, that goes down to four. I think three million go back to where they... Okay, let's say so three million people leave because you also have a lot of people leave. from the north who are down there just snow bunning. But that's going to kind of be everywhere. You also have a lot of second... But not like Arizona, dude. Arizona, Phoenix, like Phoenix is straight up known as no one's from there. I went... I was there and golfed recently 
and golf to these guys. They're all from Canada. Mm. So those guys are going to wipe their hands. So that's clean five of guys this. that won't be there. So I think you're going to have a lot. So of correct th- the numbers, please. Five guys will be gone. <laughs> so uh, New Mexico. Yeah. Has Look, I'll ride with you. I'll ride with you on the upset. New Mexico, it'll be then. You guys to go to New Mexico. Yeah, I'm going I, I think they might have some. I think New Mexico also um, will have like some old school kind of like Western kind of mountain voodoo going on. You know, yeah. Some of that Aztecian sort of if Native get, American if, voodoo. If Arizona does have like I've watched a lot of cartel stuff recently, mm-hmm. and if if they have if Arizona gets any of those people to stay though, like those cartel people to get on ass. board, it's real. It's the real, do, the real but, deal. But I, I think, don't think they're going to. And I think New Mexico has those cartel people too. It's New Mexico. Yeah, it's new. It's the newer of the Mexicos. <laughs> and that's what people... So then, now, now that's another point. You might have a lot of Mexicans, Mexican uh, people that would go from Arizona and be like, well, I'm just going to fight for New Mexico because if we're going to be a state, yes. then I'm going to be... The state that I want to be I'm going to be a state that's at least over. called New Mexico because the fucking hats and jerseys are going to be cool. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think you're going to have yeah. that. So that's You'll a good point. probably take the flag of the Mexico flag. Oh, yeah, and just bring it up and just put Nueva in the front. Yeah. Nuevo. All right. Wow, well, we got a couple upsets in this round. Next matchup, number three, Washington State versus number six, Utah. Washington versus Utah. I'm just going to say Washington wins. We got the funds from companies like Amazon, Boeing, Microsoft. Um, we have the smart people that run those companies. All Utah has is Salt Lake. Washington wins. Gang, gang. Gang, gang, brother. Wow. Yeah, what else is... Okay, here's Utah. What's up, Theo? I just wanted to weigh in on these uh, matchups we got here. We got Utah and Washington State. Now, I live in Utah. I'm originally from Georgia down in the south, you know. But you know what they call Utah? They call Utah the Texas of the West. I don't know if anybody calls it that, but I do. We got a lot of guns here, a lot of conservative folk. So you know what that means. If we had a war with Washington, we would smack those liberal bitches. He looks like a high west the truth. Yeah. Like yeah, I, like I could feel that. I could feel that guy coming to my car. Hey, uh, hey. license and registration, please. Yeah, absolutely. One thing I've learned from all these videos is every state thinks they have the most guns. guns. Yeah, that's true. Everybody has guns. Apparently, there's a lot of guns out there. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, one guy had like 30 guns in his room. He's like, we got the guns. Oh, like, and he showed okay, them. Yeah, buddy. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, He's got the guns. Guns, that's a good point, though, to... Uh, it, yeah, it's a war. But you can find unique ways to win it. Now, you are going to have a lot of smart people over there in Washington. I don't know if those smart people are going to fucking fight. Like, I'm talking if this gets into a damn civil war. That's what we're talking about. So look at, like, Salt Lake. So you got Mormons. So, like, they're, they already feel like outcasts. Right. They're already, like... They have like a very easy outlet to each other to like meet. Right. So like they could straight up. It's a civil war. They're happens. already meeting. They're already meeting. Always. So, so already you have most of that state knows what to do out the gate. So like mm-hmm. they're they're probably a month. They're, like once you start to hear the rumblings of the war happening, they've already met. Yeah. Because it was that easy for them to get together and like yeah. get. So there are they're a month ahead and like. Uh, thing, but I like that he said the money that he talked about Washington. Like, like I don't think Seattle's gonna bring anything to the table mm-hmm. as far as like fighting, but the money that they straight up can bring and like the 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 people that live it, that's pretty wild. It really and they're is. and they're, your back is uh, against the water. The water, no one can hit you from. Uh, Canada's above you, so they're not going to do anything. Right. Can, you, you, and you're cool with Canada. You can maybe like you know lo- loop around, like yeah, they, you can maybe, maybe yeah. benefit like. Cause they, uh, cause they're very liberal. Like you know, it's like they're very they they're very good talkers. They're like you know, yeah, smooth talkers. But you could have uh, no, that's Oregon. I said like uh, was it Antifa? Like they're very protesty. Where like oh yeah, that's you Portland. could get a lot of people that could be protesting. They're not going to fight. No, and then so that could be a large group that just like we don't stand for this, and then they just get murdered immediately. Yeah. Just They'll fight out. if there's like a cell phone out and somebody's videoing it. But the second the fucking second the cell phone <laughs> second goes away, it got real, yeah, they're like, out. Th- this is going to be a real deal. This is a real deal. So like this is straight up. 
Yeah, these are people, I mean, again, we can find unique ways of what, what, what would make people win. I mean, it is fascinating the amount of brain power and stuff you're going to have at some of those huge tech companies and stuff like that. So what are they going to be able to access? Are they going to be able to, like, have access to more drones, to unique are they ways get to in, win? hack into your... Right, are they going to be able mean, to hack into Utah? But I don't get think Utah gives a fuck, dude. The Mormons aren't, like... They're not a bunch of internet junkies. I mean, they're out there. They, they're all at a meeting right now. But they're they're meeting need... constantly, 24 hours a day. They're at a where's meeting. Where's Google at? Like, where's, like, inter like the internet is, like, is that, like, Washington? Like Google's California. Yeah. yeah. So what if they shut down that, though? Like, if someone shuts down the internet, like, so you're straight, these, that could happen. They're like, we only give ourselves internet. Right. So, like, if they, like, I don't mm. know how the internet works, but, like, if so they. So the communication would be I really, really. I assume there's a button that they can be, like, no more internet. And then so all these other states, communication over dude how big are these states utah is enormous and you got to get uh all these people got to get together now i like that there it is like the, i think the mormons like i think they probably have like different systems i think they're prepared for mountains internets to go out right and so they like have like signals and stuff like that hawks hawks go up in the air you want to talk about brain power utah has ken jennings who won 73 straight games of jeopardy <sighs> So, and he's, they got money uh, in the Mormon church too. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's very, very smart. He would just know, he knows a lot of facts though. Like, but that could be good. You would never want his opinion on like what to do, but you would be like, <laughs> we're fighting Washington, dude. Like how many McDonald's do they have? And he like yeah. knows. And then and, like, <laughs> yeah. or he tells you all these stuff and you're like, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. That's why this guy's good. Like how much water can a dolphin drink yeah. in a day? And he knows. And, it. and he's like, and he tells you and then you're like, all right. All right, I think, yeah, him. the war might stop because the other team just wants to meet him, <laughs> yeah. you know? They send him out first <clears throat> as... Now, you're going to have... Now, Seattle has some soft dudes up there, man, you know? I don't you think get, Seattle's going to bring the Tacoma's going to bring the heat. Spokane oh, is going to bring the heat. Is, like oh, yeah, Spokane. Loves, Eastern Spokane's Washington. rooting for this to happen. Yes. Bellevue. Uh, Bellevue. Uh, uh, it's right up against Idaho. Like, I was just in... Uh, if they Tacoma's can stick like, together. They just had a guy... Didn't some guy just get uh, yeah, yeah. in Tacoma, Spokane? <laughs> like Probably they shot just up arrested some. him. Yeah. No, yeah, they they. Oh, I watched it on uh, Netflix. There's a thing where they uh, terrorist stuff almost happens, and they catch a guy, and the guy was in Tacoma, Spokane, oh, yeah. and, and he had it. He was about to. It was about to go down, and they caught him like at the last minute. Yeah. I really like Callan's point that he brought up about the the Tongan population in Utah. Oh wow! It's, it's the largest in the states besides Hawaii. The what? The Tongan population. The Tongan. A very they're like oh, Samoan. Yeah, they're yeah. like Samoan people. They're huge. Yeah, they can fight the rock. And where are they at? Well, um, there's in Utah. Huge, oh, in Utah. huge Tongan. There's some population. military bases off the coast of Washington as well over there. Like, uh, man, this is a tough one. What do you guys think? Here's the thing. You, but you get, like think of borders. Like, so when they're fighting, Utah's got to worry about everywhere. Washington doesn't. You know how many people you can throw when you don't have to worry about the ocean. How many people you can throw to one, one side, side. Yeah. and you don't have to worry about the top of Utah's you. the mountains though. Utah has so much. I know, but you have every, but you got every state's around you. Yeah, so you're surrounded, so like you have to spread people out, and they're already underpopulated. We can go to the fans on this if you want to. Let's do it. Is that okay with you, Nate? Yeah. You have all those people, you know. <laughs> wow. Fifty-fifty with fourteen thousand votes. That's what I, 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 that swings me. I mean, I'm watching. That's it. It crazy, bro. That means 7,000 votes a piece, dude. How many? 14,000 votes and yeah. it's 50 50. <laughs> uh, First of all, thank you to everybody that voted. That's, that's fascinating, crazy. dude. That's I haven't voted for something people. in my life 14,000 times, dude. We don't no. require ID, so. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's a good What's point. What's the population? What did we do? We do that? I like you. I mean, Washington, seven and a half, and Utah is 3.1. That's a big difference too, and and that's Washington's and Washington's got like some pride, like some South pride, like you know the South is proud to be where they're from. Yeah. Tacoma, Spokane, like that Washington, Eastern Washington, they're proud yeah. to be. From yeah, there, Utah, dude. like the Mormons, they might just be like, ah, eh, let's just go find another place to be. You know, we don't even we're not even gonna fight. We're just more worried about our faith and moving forward that way. They yeah, they could almost not relate to Utah, and they'd blend right into Canada. Yeah, yeah. So I think I could see. Uh, I'll go I like Washington. that money. I like that money up there, like you said. But like, now the Mormon like, Church has so much money, uh, an insane amount of money, right? Yeah. Every, Wait, with the Mormon, where is like is Mormon just in Utah? Or, like where they're like it's like ninety percent in 90 Utah. Percent Utah. Utah so there's not somewhere else like like uh, like Catholics. Like you know, it's so big of a thing that they could get so much help. Like they're you know they right. got numbers. They got phone numbers of people they can call that you're like you don't even know. <laughs> yeah, like, I need a cake. There's like a secret world. 
But if 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 the Mormons are basically trapped, they can't outside call. There's right. not a Utah's the most where the Mormons are at. Yeah. So that's yeah. the it's gonna be all in state calling. <laughs> that's where the Pope lives of Mormons. Yeah. Yeah. So that's they're they're John they're Morgan. Trapped. I think his name is John Morgan. So we go Washington. It's such a tough call, man. I mean, the people <laughs> said 50 50. That's a, like with the least, what do you popu- think? least population. Utah is 3 million less people, but they're in the voting poll of that many people. They're at, they kept it tied. They care. They're like tight. that's that shows they're Washington with how many people? There's 4 million more on people on the internet, and it was a freaking electronic vote. 4 million more people in Utah straight up came out. They that's straight a good up point. And came out. That's I'll unbelievable. Go Utah. You Washington should be like it should have been seventy thirty just because Utah's smaller. Yep, and just because they know how to work internet better. People are sometimes people are using gold. People well, are communicating with gold. Phones. Washington getting have too many people against the war, and Utah's like straight yeah. up like Utah's like yeah we'll do war we'll dude. do it yeah and we'll all have lunch too we don't have any coffee and they do it all on no coffee no coffee whereas as Seattle's up there star bucking too much corporate culture I think too in. Uh, in Washington, where you're going to get a lot of people that are just, if the Starbucks is closed or something for a day, they're going to fucking saw their own arms off, you know? Whereas in uh, Utah... Too many people that leak up to Canada, because you're right there. Too many people that are like, I don't even want to... Yeah, they, I'm just out of here. I'm out of here. Yeah, they I don't go, care about Utah's winning trapped. anything. Yeah. Utah can't get out. Yeah, just point me in they the direction where the email down. still works. Wow. That switch, I thought we were going to Washington at one point. Yeah, that was easily I mean, that was, uh, best war of the tournament yeah, so far. Yeah. But I mean, that just shows you how close it is, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I think we, it'd be, even we'd have to land on something. Yeah. All right. Next matchup. Number four, Colorado versus the lowest seed remaining in the tournament, Montana. I, I, I can't tell you how much I love this. <laughs> I love that this is that you're doing this. I think it's the greatest it's thing I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. That's nice and, to uh, say. Some I mean, podcasts like to bring people together. We like to divide. But it's I, also I, a it's ton such of a good <laughs> idea to think about like who would you know straight up civil war <laughs> between I mean, I, it's so because good. before everybody's on. People, I'm rooting for this in real life to happen. <laughs> yeah. So I love just to see. I think we're getting the wheels turning, and I think oh, it's yeah. good. I think we're one step closer to it happening. Dude, how crazy if in two years they start to use this as a reference somehow yeah. for a real war that's <laughs> and going then on. they do it, and then we have to go speak for our states. And what if our bracket's still good, like go, six years uh, into the war? All right, let's go, with Theo Von. Theo Von, you have experience <laughs> in this. Uh, you talked about this once on your podcast, <laughs> and then so did you ever think this would come true? <laughs> and then, uh, uh, yeah, actually, uh, you can either hear me it. and Nate Bargatze talking yeah. about it, right? We here. dive into it real fast. <laughs> I've got about eight hours on the subject. <laughs> That's true. Nick's seen it all, bro. Uh, all right, here's uh, guy for Colorado. Hey, deal. It's James here from Colorado. Want to weigh in on the March Madness State Wars against Montana and Colorado? Thanks, James. Come on, man. It's not even a fight. Okay, case for Colorado. A. United States Air Force Academy <clears throat> teaching all those cadets to drop bombs on some Montana ass. B, we got NORAD, some special shit with some GPS. Don't know what it does, but it's pretty badass. And C, what, there's seven people in Montana? Bro, the millions of potheads in Colorado could take them on so easy. Montana's ass, bro. They got bears and shit, but that's all. But gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Later, gang, bro. I love what one thing I love about hey, gang was that he said A, B, C, and that was one, two, three, which yeah. was pretty cool. Yeah. And I love that that's code, and, and that's a code that we use sometimes here. Um, it's a good point, yeah. I know. I mean, I that Air Force is huge. That's Here's the, Air, huge the only thing I'll say with the Air Force, those are people that are on board with their country that will be on board with their state and will go home and fight for their state. Mm. The way they will fight for the country is the way they would fight for the state. They're not going to stay and just be like, well, then I just do Colorado. They're very proud to be where they're from. And I mean, that's straight up like how many of those people are from Colorado? And I, though it's almost 100% if they're not, they're leaving. Right. And they're going to go fight at home. So that's gone. But like, they're not going to have their jets. So that's the thing, though. The jets are probably going to stay there. So they will still have access to, to jets. the facility. They have the, they have the facility. It's like getting recruited somewhere. But who can like, fly them? Nice facilities. But the, will there, there has be to be enough people from Colorado that can know how fly. To fly. They would have enough uh, the, the, that could... You know, that could put it together and do it. Montana I, I already cherries. like Colorado in this. Yeah. But I mean, like, I, yeah. Montana has cherries, cherry blooms. Um, they always have a team that gets beaten early in the Little League World Series. <laughs> um, they uh, they have Dodge City, uh, which has um, a large federal prison. Um, They're going to make you come into them. 
I think Montana would just say, "Hey, come over here and fight us." No, no, you you you're gonna have to go get them, yeah. and then you're now you're on their territory, like where some of these states that are bigger, I think will will just straight up like gang gang. It's gonna meet at the border. Montana, you're gonna get to him like, are they already lost their fight? And you're not, they're hiding, dude. Like they're gonna make you like. Yeah, you're but gonna it, have to go look around for them. But yeah, I think you only have to look for a little while, and then you'll find them. What if they? I don't know what their mount. They have good mountains. Yeah, they've got a very vast terrain on the the east side of the state. It's very flat. It's like North they would Dakota. use. That's their advantage to use their terrain. Let's hear what he says. We got a call in here. Hey Theo, just weighing in on the Montana versus Colorado state war. Yes, sir. And and to be honest, there's <laughs> there's too many reasons that we would win this one. So I'm just gonna list off just a few. Just a few. I could go on for probably, I could probably start a podcast on why <laughs> Montana would beat Colorado. But we're just going to list off a few, all right? That's, That's a lot of episodes. Fourth He's biggest confident. state. You can't even find people in Montana. You come in trying to, trying to take our women, trying to take our towns for, your, for Colorado's own? Nah, ain't going to happen. You're going you're gonna to find more cows than humans, dog. Number two. More cows than humans, dog. <laughs> we got meat. We got so much meat to feed our army. You can't win a war on bread and rice and and little little Keebler elf cookies. You can't do that, dog. You can't do that. And that's all them stoners in Colorado are eating, man. That's true. You know them stoners in Colorado are just eating little 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 Samoas Girl Scout cookies. I can tell you, Rod. Yep. Can't win a war on that. No. <laughs> this guy. Everybody's got a gun in Montana. <laughs> That's true. What, who, who's going to come in and beat that? Who? <laughs> anyway, I love you, Theo. <laughs> gang, gang, baby. Gang, gang, baby. Keep doing you. You too, Pop. I love him. I love how he got blacker, yeah. too, as it went along. So yeah. that shows you the transformative the, abilities of the Montanese. The, he's the black people of Montana. That's <laughs> he is, the, the, right. Then they go, I know a black guy. They introduce yeah, you to him, yeah. and you're like, I don't know. And you're like, yeah, it's good. He's like, come on, motherfucker. Yeah. Um, you know what? That's pretty convincing that the weed may have really mm. defeated the libido of Colorado. Of like they're not. Uh, what Their population's got to be wildly different, though. That's a, you know he did tell me you ain't gonna find them. I tell you, Montana's gonna sucker you in. It's gonna be Montana's that thing like gonna, that movie uh, the, with uh, Mel Gibson, that movie that he was in. Yes, the where Patriot. they make them go. Yeah, they're gonna sucker you in. They're gonna make you go. Come get us. Yeah, like ah, like a little girl running or something. And you're like, well, what's going? And you go, and then they just boom bombard you. You're gonna walk into your own death in Montana. Come get us, man. Yeah, and there's a lot of like dudes who like to wear shorts and be on bicycles in Denver and stuff like that, and they're great people. But I don't know if they're want, gonna want to go fight. Really, I don't know though. But you got the mountains in Colorado. You got people that ski. I mean, I just think you have two. It's a big state, dude. It's a what, big what, what, state, man. I th I think Montana has everything that Colorado has except the turning soft. Like Boulder is basically another Seattle. They're getting very they're they're getting soft out there. Montana is elk meat. That's what Joe Rogan feeds off of. I right. liked his meat argument. The meat argument, yeah, you're going to feed your people. But I'm sure that they got what some is, farms. Is, is it four million difference? It's, yeah, it's uh, one million for Montana and five and a half for Colorado. Like, for, to, for, for, for there to be, I mean, A, the population alone. Like, I, 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 I agree with some of these big populations, like, where we had, uh, you know. Yeah, what do we I have? take we Colorado had, in this. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much a straight up. Just because of that. There's too it's many like, people. It's just going like, to be too many people. Hide and go seek four on one, you're going to lose eventually. You know, even if you got a fucking, you know, Iowa of had enough jerky. people like it, like with being Ohio, Iowa still had millions of people. You barely have a million yeah. in, in Montana. How, how do they? I, I mean, yeah. You want to you think, and, Nick? And they and they, they they lost it all when they got out of that first round. Like that was their. I don't know. Think that's a good point. You they didn't beat think they, Oregon they, they, Idaho. They lost probably too many people. They were Nick and so Star now Horse. they're in the second round. If you <laughs> like, you get in that second round after that first round. I mean, their population is. 600,000 like I mean it's down half's gone I just lost quite a bit of money I had Montana going a long way in this thing but damn who the fuck do you bet <laughs> I, <laughs> love that, like, I love how you yeah. probably he probably bet online and lost <laughs> just some like, company oh uh, yeah <laughs> alright last matchup of the day are we sure about that one what did the people say people said sixty five percent said oh, Colorado wow. That's a lot of Montana. It's a Montana showing up like they're 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 proud. Yeah, they're definitely proud. There's no doubt. Like, I just, just think 
You got out the first round, dude. That's great. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> you guys did it. You guys did it. And you, what you should be doing instead of fighting Colorado, trying to like get in Recruit. with Colorado. Like you should be like, hey, look, we took out these other two. Y'all should be rethinking stuff and merging to Colorado, merging, and then come up. Because I mean, look, you you got something coming next that's going to be now. I'll say fun. this then. I think you might have some of that. We could start a state now called Montana Rado, and they could advance if we want. I like it. Mont- Montana Rado? Calatana? Or, yeah, or Calatana. Calatana. We could do Calatana. Sounds good. Because I think you could have that. I think you could have. I think Montana's that's their only chance. I think they're going to lose so many people in that first round. Yeah. And it's unreal that they made it out of the but first round. They should be fight. proud of making it out of the first round. They should be happy. That's what somebody goes to Colorado and goes, dude, we should be. That's what they, the speech they give in Montana. We should be proud that we made it out here. But we cannot beat Colorado again right now. Yeah. We've lost too many yeah. people. Let's we join need to forces. get involved with them. Colatana. Colatana. Wow. <laughs> wow. And that's how it happens, bro. That's how it happens in real life, too. Yeah. <laughs> Out the gate, dude. Like that's crazy. One more Good battle. Good Montana. Last matchup of the second round. The number one seed, California. Number one overall seed, too, uh, with a population of forty million versus the eight seed, Alaska. Dude, what if someone's just gonna just see this and see Colatana? Like their thoughts to be like, what? <laughs> like they don't like if, if they just see it before they hear why we didn't. Like and they're just like, what? What's happening? I think it's pretty obvious, Calatana. I yeah, think it's pretty Calatana obvious too. Yeah, I do too. All right, California and Alaska. Let's see. Dude, Alaska, I'll say this, has some of the probably the most fierce, resilient people. Let's see. We got a video submission here. This is obviously from where? California. Man, California. California takes number one all the way. We have the Joe Rogans, the Jockos. I don't know about David Goggins. Wearing gloves in the car. And that's all we need. Damn. <laughs> that guy, what if that guy just literally, he looks like he would be an assassin and like he just got done. We have a lot of assassins that listen. That's great. You have a good assassin population? Uh, yeah. Have you seen everybody calling in about the guns? <laughs> 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 all right, let's hear the rebuttal from Alaska. Hey, what's up, Theo? Nate, this is uh, Wes out here in California. And I just wanted to give my uh, personal comment on the uh, war between California and Alaska. And uh, gotta say, I think Alaska takes his hands down. I mean, I've lived in six other states before I moved out here to California. And the people out here in California, man, especially on the uh, West Coast, on the coast, pretty weak, pretty weak. I agree. So I think Alaska, you know, if they take all those uh, those fishing boats, you know, that they use out in like the whatever ocean out there, you know, deadliest catch, whatever, get those guys, come down on the ships roll into San Francisco, take over San Francisco, the Bay Area, use that as like a forward operating base, and just move on from there. You know, I think they'll have no problem. You know, they already got those, you know, 50 cal military-grade sniper rifles that they use to hunt down, you know, mooses and grizzly bears. Mice are called. So I think it's no problem. It might run an issue when you get to, like, Stockton, you know, Fresno, oh, yeah. Bakersfield, because, you know, the people out there are a little bit, you know, a little That's bit more issue, gritty. Uh, but the Diaz brothers. I yeah. think Alaska, you know, I hate to say, you know, because now I live in California, but I think Alaska's got this hands down. All right. Gang, Diaz gang. brothers are two guys that will go to jail if they fight people because they're, they have to be like, they're a weapon. They're you so know? good at fighting, yeah. And they still One of them sleeps people. in a holster. That's what I heard. <laughs> someone told, I had someone told me once that uh, Nick Diaz got it in a fight. He was riding his motorcycle, got into a fight with another guy in a car or a motorcycle. They pull over. They then both start fighting. That guy stabbed Nick Diaz with a, in the leg with a pin, like a the writing pin. Oh, wow. And then he, Nick Diaz respected him so much, they became training partners. I was told that. I don't know if that's true or not, but I hope it is. And, like, that's what I'm talking about. That's coming from... So could Alaska beat Stockton, I think, is what we're <laughs> at now. They How many... I'd be curious with the population. It's got to be... Uh, it's 770,000. That's seven hundred and seventy thousand in Alaska, <sighs> dude. That, like that's versus forty million. It's I mean it's it, it, it's like in but ba- you can have. I think Alaska will be annoying for California. Like it'll be uh, yeah pesky. Yeah, like but it's like straight up they could just send like Stockton and like Stockton send, like Stockton's three hundred twenty thousand alone. 
three hundred and twenty thousand. And I don't know if three hundred twenty thousand from Stockton would beat no, seven hundred no, no, from Alaska. But you it's go all build- men in Alaska, frozen men. They're not even gonna feel the first twenty punches because they're frozen. And some of them are guys that have f- fought bears, probably. Like you know, like yeah. in their life have been like, have you ever fought a bear? Like you would be able to walk, you'd be able to find someone that's fought a bear a lot quicker than you should. Right, right. in right. Alaska. Well, like, also they'll have the Trojan bear trick where they all hide in a bear, and they have it come down to Cal go, Berkeley oh, and be like, "Oh, we got a new yeah, mascot." Uh, then they pop boom, out and they fuck pop you out. up. Cal Berkeley, they would destroy. I yes, mean, I, well, uh, most of the university would. UCLA, dude, I could fucking, I could eat, I could beat everybody's ass. At UCLA, dude, <laughs> and I've only been, I've only worked out twice this year. Um and not everybody, but probably about sixty percent of the people over there. A good amount of people. Like yes. I, w- I would walk with my head high in at <laughs> UCLA's yeah. campus. Uh, what do the people say? People say it's gonna be wildly California. Whoo! That's fifty-two percent uh, said California. Forty-eight percent. Alaska's like people hate California. Yeah, <laughs> people hate California, and then Alaska uh, is very proud, and they're gonna, you know, they're. It'll take a lot to kill them, but it, it, there's just not enough people, man. Like they, they, uh, they're gonna fight hard. I mean, man. Yeah, them beating Hawaii could, is pretty wild. I mean, that they made it out. If that they could melt the fight. water though and get it to flow down, oh, and like to drown California. Well, they could come in. Like, I think it's gonna be a surprise. I think California is gonna fill Alaska, but you're not gonna beat Alaska. But you're definitely gonna be like, why did that take as long? It shouldn't have taken as long as it shouldn't it have did. taken us six years. California should have just they like I mean like they should have just moved on, and yeah, it should have been very quick. And they're gonna be like, I'll give you a that. town will get knocked out, and you'll be like, God, dude, that was like, they they will regret that as California proceeds I'll that say they this. got. Yeah. They got knocked right. out a little bit. They will beat San Francisco. I'll say that. Alaska, Alaska will beat San Francisco. Um, but, but they got Oakland like over the water. Now, they got Oakland. Not, right? You get in hey, where those hard heads and shit like that, they're not going to be able to That's handle That's right over the water. Right. So, right. But they will at least beat San Francisco. And people will cheer them as they beat San Francisco. Yeah. 80% of California will cheer for Alaska <laughs> as they pummel San Francisco and probably as they pummel a lot of Hollywood specifically. But then the rest of the area is going to kick up. Alaska will think they're doing good, and that's because California is letting them. Like they're going to let them. They're going to lead them into like you Rope can go to Hollywood. You can go yeah. to San Francisco. They're like they're going to be like, we even want to get rid of this dead weight anyway. Like, <laughs> so like they let them come in and fight. And Alaska's going like, dude, we're about to win this, which is I think a scene in Glory. I think it, one scene in Glory. He's yeah. like, think something's. He's like. We did it, and then it's just, the isn't that the very end of the movie? It's like yes. the, and then it's a whole other thing, and he's like, Fuck. he's like, it's, and that's what Alaska's going to feel. Alaska's yeah. is going to be like, dude, we made a dent, and right before they go down, they're like, we got, we're proud, like it's, I'm proud to be from Alaska, I love you, brother. Like, it's like one of the, they say that, and then it's like a wrap. And then it's the end. Wow. The last thing. Very poetic, and I think that that's true. I think it's exactly the way they're going to really, really cause some hell, but that it's going to end like that, and California will move on. Wow, that does it. We are down to our sweet 16, or savage 16. Nate Borgazzi, he's got it, a new dude. special. I want to keep, yeah, I want to keep up to date with this California Colatana, man. That's going to be that's, insane. Uh, that's insane, a new state. Uh, with big baby Glenn Davis is supposed to come in, and uh, the basketball player, you know that yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, I know he is. He's supposed to come in, but it looks like he's getting, he's <clears throat> he's filming something outside of town, he said. He could also just be high. <laughs> yeah. but. It might be uh, Caleb Presley and then Nick Swartzen for the championship. Oh, wow. Uh, that would be great. Mm. I love it. But Nate, man. Yeah. You guys check out Nate's special. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, geez. But it's nice. I said I watched yours. Yeah. I haven't God flown. Blessed, you dude. flew last. Actually, huh? it's that is true. Jim Gaffigan, not not uh, Nick Swartzen for the championship. Oh, wow. Gaffigan would be, Gaffigan would be terrific on this. But, yeah, well, we're intrigued, man. We're yeah. intrigued. But today you were terrific, man, and, and, Thanks, and I'm buddy. glad you came in. And um, congratulations on all your success, yeah, I'm dude. I'm a big and, fan of YouTube, buddy. Well, I'm a huge, huge fan. What's well, nice you to uh, say? There's not a lot of Southern guys that are that are in uh, comedy, and it's us. You know, you know? <laughs> we gotta stick together, just like normal, just like this, just like these states have to stick. To, you know, where where we're where that, dude. Yeah. Louisiana, Tennessee. Tennessee, yeah. Louis, Louis, I don't know. That's a, <laughs> Look, we can't pronounce it, but, but God we damn can't. It. But we're good. <laughs> yeah, but we we're stick good. together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, Nate. Yeah, buddy. Now I'm just floating on the breeze, and I feel I'm falling like these leaves. I must be cornerstone.
Shine 